Check, check, check. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the webinar. We're going to start in just two seconds here. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. I see some people in the chat room. Uh, I see John. I see Ziggy. I know there's a bunch of other viewers watching. Uh, if you guys just want to type and let me know that you can hear me okay, and then we're going to spark this thing off. Can you guys hear me okay? Cool, cool, cool. Well, awesome. Well, let's get this thing started, man. Um, the reason I decided to do this webinar right now and just this live training is I'm actually just uh, finishing a little tour. I was just in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, and I was also in Wyoming, and I'm just about to fly out in about a couple hours. So I wanted to do a quick webinar training just to teach you guys and share some stuff on the music business, how to make this a full-time career, how to actually make money with your music. It's really important to be able to fund what you do. I really believe in the craft and just doing music because you love it and because it's fun but there comes a time where you also need to make it your income so that you can pay the bills and do this a lot of you guys know my website smartmusicbusiness.com I don't say smart music business because I have all the answers or because I know everything it's because I've made tons of mistakes um, I failed a lot of times I actually failed music in school um, my teacher failed me so the fact that I do this um, as a living for over 10 years I've traveled over 21 different countries, uh, sold hundreds of thousands of albums. Uh, the fact that I get paid really well to do this, I think God has a sense of humor and likes to take the most unlikely people and do amazing things things with them. So, you know, for all the artists out here, I want to encourage you. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. I didn't start off with a whole bunch of albums sold, hundreds of thousands of albums. And I think I'm working on my 10th album right now. And, uh, you know, I didn't start out that way. I started at the bottom, just creating, just writing music. I used to just go to the stores to, um, buy vinyls and then write songs to them and then record them on tape and then take them to a producer you know now with spotify and youtube there's tons of instrumentals and we have technology and stuff like that out there that really makes it possible to take your music to the next level so at the end of this i'm going to be doing a live q a let you guys ask as many questions as you want before i go catch my flight of course i'll stay on as long as i can but um i just wanted to kind of show you guys and give you a history i'm just going to share my screen for a second and bear with me while i do that i think that is how do i share the screen here screen share boom desktop Start screen share. Sweet. Okay, yours present it. Of course, present to everyone. Okay, great. So hopefully you guys can see my screen. I'm just going to go back over to the chat. Um, can you guys see my screen okay? John, I see you said yes. Can you guys see my screen? I got the live chat here. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go over, and what I want to show you guys is and just a little proof, and just to show you what's possible, and what's really, really, really exciting, okay? I sell my music through TuneCore, okay? And what this is, is it's a screenshot of my sales for March, okay? I made almost $6,000 last month just selling music online and YouTube royalties. And I added all these numbers up. Obviously, you can see the sales posted here, but then you can also see the YouTube royalties. And so one payment was for 370 from YouTube. Another one was 2,928, okay? YouTube is really catching up to sales. It is much easier to get someone to listen to your music than to get them to pay for it. And so with YouTube, you're just sharing it. You're getting it out there with lyric videos, with music videos. But the coolest thing about YouTube and what people don't tell you guys is it's not just about your YouTube channel, it's about other people uploading your songs to YouTube. And I wanna give you an exact example of that. I just wanna go back quickly to the live chat. Okay, good, you guys are saying yes, yes. So. What I want to show you is quickly is my YouTube channel here, okay? And this is my page. These are a bunch of my videos. This is one of my most popular songs here. This is impossible, okay? It's only got 300,000 views, okay? But the key to YouTube is not just your YouTube channel. It's fans and other people using your songs in their videos, like this one right here. If I click on this video right here, and I'll copy this um, into the screen, but this 
video has my song on it. It's got these pit bulls doing these insane tricks and stuff. It's got over 8 million views. Just a couple months ago, it was only at 5 million. And this is the cool thing. If you are set up with TuneCore to sell your music or CD Baby, and you set up the YouTube monetization, you will get paid for every single stream of this. You get the publishing, plus you get some of the ad revenue, okay? I'm just going to copy this video into the chat here just so you guys can, can see it later on or whatever, just because it's just it just blows my mind that you can not only just promote your YouTube channel, but it's other people using your songs. This song, Impossible, has been uploaded 9,000 times to YouTube. And I get paid on every single one of those. Other of my songs have been uploaded hundreds and hundreds of times. And so this is the thing, and this is why the revenue from my YouTube is so large. And this is the thing, I don't even own all the rights to my music yet. But this is the thing, guys, and I just want to encourage you. I'm just showing you kind of the success, and I'm not trying to show it to you to brag, but I'm just trying to show you to encourage you what's possible. I've been doing this since 2001, okay? That song, Impossible, was released in 2003 three or four, I think, but this is the cool thing. It's not overnight, but when you write a song and you write music, you know, um, the, the president of one of these big writer societies said to me, Chris, music is the gift that keeps on giving. I had another song the other day that just got, I got contacted to use it in a movie placement, and I wrote it years ago. I wrote it in 2010, and now it's going to get used in a really big movie, and I'm going to get paid a lot of money. But this is the thing. I want to encourage you guys. I didn't start out there. I started out here. This is me rapping in a rap group, okay? Um, I'm, this is me right here, the goofy guy, throwing my arm around as usual. My buddy who's rapping isn't even staring at the crowd. Well, that's because there's not really a lot of crowd. This is my buddy breakdancing, and this is another dude. I think he was rapping with me as well, too. But I started in a group, okay? I didn't know what I was doing, but I started. And I just started promoting my music and getting it out there. And then there's another picture of me just trying to figure it out and just throwing myself on stage and just, just going for it. And that's what you got to do sometimes, guys. Despite the fear, just do it afraid. Get up on stage and do it afraid. I'll never forget booking my first show um, uh, as a solo artist because I eventually left that rap group because I found it was easier to do things on your own because not everybody wants to work as hard. Not everybody wants it as bad as you do. And so that's why I encourage you, even if you're in a band, you hire the players. Don't be in a band and everybody has a say. No, you be the artist and you hire the musicians because bands break up all the time. And just example of this, this group broke up. So there I am on my own, eventually doing my own thing. But this is the thing. Um, this is me and my amazing wife who I've been married to for 13 years. She was so supportive of me. We dated for five years. And at the beginning, she just had a camera and she was in graphic design school. And so we put together this first EP. I loved skateboarding. And so we shot this at the skateboard park with her camera. I had a friend just do a logo and we just put some skateboarding in there and just took this picture at the park because I had fun. And my wife put together, or my girlfriend at the time, just put this cover together. And this was released in 2001. And guess what? This album still sells. It just continues to sell and make money. And, and uh, I, I promote it and I just started. And so I just want to encourage you guys, man, you just got to start putting music out there. Did I know that it was going to be now 2016, uh, you know, 15 years later, I'd still be doing music? No, I had a, I had a full-time job during this. And so I just took all my money and I invested it in here and I invested it in here, promoting and marketing. And I'm going to show you guys some of that in just a second, but I just kind of want to show you guys the journey. And then I eventually got signed to this um, record label and I released this album. It's a little bit better. My wife got better at the graphic design, a little bit better photo shoot. This is the first album we released. And then the craziest thing happened. Sure, we signed with this record label, but you know what? They didn't do everything overnight. Success didn't happen overnight. But the coolest thing is, is it opened a door. And if you just have one person believe in you, then it's easier to have somebody else believe in you. And what happened here, Japan, um, my album blew up there. So this is me in Tower Records in Japan with my album Fighter. We sold thousands and thousands and thousands of albums there, breathed new life into my career and kept going. I almost quit when I went full-time during music because I almost went broke and I didn't know how to make money. And one of the easiest ways for you guys to make money I just want to share is touring. And it's also social media marketing, which I'm going to show you in a second. So here I am just trying to figure it out, keep going. There's my, me and my wife now uh, you know, on, on tour in Japan having fun. We never thought this could happen in a million years, but it did. 
And then uh, the coolest thing happened, and we did another record out there with the label um, in Japan, and it was EMI, which is now owned by Universal. I met this really cool dude, Koi, from CrossFaith. This dude was just kind of starting out, just a you know new artist in Japan. We did this song together, ended up blowing up, doing really well. Now his band is blowing up. And so that's the important thing to do collaborations. You know, he didn't think he would be bigger than me, and now he's bigger than me touring all over the world because he's playing hundreds and hundreds of shows a year. He probably doesn't have a he's probably not married with a family now so you know he can tour as much as he wants but the cool thing is just like these opportunities happen by just putting yourself out there and just getting out there you know and then i got to tour russia uh, i think just a year and a half ago there's me my drummer my guitarist just uh then i got to tour with um one of the biggest bands that i looked up to pod flyleaf you gotta understand this band pod I used to listen to them in my bedroom and just be like, wow, I wish one day I could do music full time. And then here I am touring with them years later. And I just want to say, guys, this can happen to you. This can happen. It doesn't happen overnight. You got to put the work in. You got to be willing to learn and you got to have a coach. And that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to coach you guys because I had a coach that trained me and helped me and encouraged me. And sometimes you just need the inspiration and to be able to believe that this can also happen for you. And then here's just a couple of live shots, whatnot, or just us touring and whatnot. Merchandise, guys. I can't tell you how important it is to have some merchandise. Maybe you just got a CD. Maybe you just have a poster. Maybe you just have a T-shirt. You don't have a necklace and a USB key and all this stuff. But this is the thing. I just like to do what I love. Did you notice that I've got a skateboard here? I've got a skateboard here. I love skateboarding. I hurt myself skateboarding, and that's actually how I got into music. But I still incorporate what I love into my music. And so I want to encourage you, put you into your art. Put you into your music, telling your story. And this is the thing. When you're writing songs, guys, don't just retell a story. Relive it. Put that pain, put that you know discouragement, that rejection, those failures into your songs and share that. Because you know what? I'm not sharing this stuff to be successful. I'm sharing this stuff just because I went through pain. I went through struggle. I almost failed. I almost quit so many times. I went broke. I went $30,000 into debt, but I didn't quit. And then, again, I, I love skateboarding so much that we made this cool USB key and put all nine of my albums on there, and we did a Kickstarter campaign, and it was just so awesome to uh, do what I love and put it out there. So I just encourage you to think about what is it that you love? What do you like to do, and how can you incorporate that into your brand, into your music? Okay, um, these are some of the courses I'll chat about later. But what I want to do right now is, is I want to do a cool YouTube training with you guys and show you how you can take your music videos. All right, I'm going to go back to my music videos here. Like this song right here, I want to show you how I can put that in front of another artist's music video. Because you know when you watch those videos and you get those 30 second ads, okay? I want to show you how to do that. So like if I click even on this video right now, there might be a 30 second ad that shows. Okay, there you go right here. See, so showing this ad right now, I've got the music muted, but I'm gonna show you how you can put your 30 second ad of your music video in front of another artist's video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is you need a Google AdWords account, all right? So I'm gonna go Google AdWords, sign in. And I've already got an account, so I'm just going to sign in here. But you're going to need a Google AdWords account. It does cost money, okay? But I can put my music videos in front of other people's music videos for only one cent per view. I've done this so many times, and it's a great way to put your music and market it for so cheap. The only way to do this previously, guys, was to go on tour, get out your music video on HMV, get a radio hit. But now, with the internet and YouTube, I can put my music videos in front of other artists' music videos for like nothing. And so I just want to encourage you, like this is just such an awesome opportunity to promote your music. This is, internet is really slow right now, and I, I upgraded the internet connection here in the hotel to make sure that it was going to be good. So hopefully we're going to be okay here and I can do this. If not, I'm going to have to move over to Facebook, but I'll post the, the, the training if, if we end up having problems here, if I can't sign in for for whatever reason and um we'll keep it going here but you need all you need is a google adwords account and you can select your budget and you can literally choose artists that you want to put in front of your videos well that's loading i just want to explain that i did this song with trevor mcnevin from thousand foot crutch well i promote this song and this music video in front of other videos so for instance 
thousand if I take thousand foot crutch in here and I can choose any of these videos that I want to have so before if somebody clicks on this video right here thousand foot crutch running with giants I can have my music video impossible play before as many TFK videos as I want. Okay, say you're a female artist and you want to get in front of Taylor Swift fans. You can do the exact same thing by doing Google AdWords um, and, and promoting your art here. And I don't think this is going to work. It's really frustrating. That's why I was kind of worried about doing this. But anyways, all you need is a Google AdWords account, okay? And you can sign in and promote. I'm going to put a link in the bottom of this chat afterwards um, just so that you guys can click on that, and I'll put that in the description as well. But I want to move on. Um, but I just want to encourage you, sign up for a Google AdWords account. You're going to need a credit card to do this. But you can get your video promoted for less than one cent per view. So this person right here, I don't know what they paid to put their ad in front of my video, but you can do it for less than one cent per view. Don't spend your money on a publicist. Spend it on YouTube ads. So let's, for instance, say you have a hundred bucks you want to spend, okay? Divide that by one cent. That gives you 10,000 views on a music video in front of targeted, targeted fans that you know like your music. Okay, you want to spend your money a, a thousand bucks on a publicist. Don't do that. Spend it on YouTube ads. Do what I'm uh, I'll train you with uh, the Google AdWords account. Divide that again by one cent. You got a hundred thousand views on one of your videos, lyric videos, or songs in front of targeted videos. In front of whether it's Taylor Swift fans, Thousand Foot Crutch fans, Eminem fans. I don't care whose fans it is, but you can do that with Google AdWords. Okay, so create a Google AdWords account, mess around with it. Um, I do have a training on that on my YouTube channel as well too. I was really hoping to show you guys here, but I want to move on and I want to show you how you can do this also with Facebook. Okay, Facebook is one of my favorite platforms. It's probably one of my biggest um, platforms where I um, sell a lot of music and I promote my music. And the cool thing is Facebook is just about to pay us, okay? Just like how I was showing you guys earlier that I get paid for YouTube royalties here. See right here, YouTube royalties. Soon, Facebook is going to start paying us. I'm already part of a beta test group with Facebook. And so they will pay you for when you upload your videos, okay? Here's an example of a music video that I uploaded, okay? I just upload, I'm going to refresh this because I just uploaded it maybe 31 minutes ago. But just like how YouTube pays you per view, Facebook is going to start paying us for view. I just uploaded this 32 minutes ago. It's got 446 views. It's got some shares. The cool thing with Facebook, guys, is you got to upload the videos. You can't paste YouTube links. They don't work. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to show you an example of when I posted a YouTube link and it didn't get nearly as much love. Okay. Let me just scroll down here. But I love Facebook. What works is images and videos. Okay. Links don't work, especially to YouTube. They actually block it and they have a logarithm because YouTube Facebook is in competition with YouTube. Okay, here's a lyric video I posted. Posted this March 25th. So that's like a week and a plus ago. It only got shown by 1,800 people. Okay. Barely any shares because nobody saw it because Facebook blocked it. But let's take out let's take out uh, another video that I uploaded. Here's a lyric video, another lyric video. Uploaded this three days later, it got saw by twenty four thousand people and four thousand views, fifty shares. Why is that? Because I uploaded the video and I didn't post the YouTube link. Okay, so don't post YouTube links. Make sure that you upload your videos. Yes, you can post YouTube links, but it just won't get seen as much. You're going to have to boost the post for people to see it. And I'll show you how to do that very strategically. And I'm going to show you that right now, okay? Say I want to promote this video or I want to promote this video, okay? I'm going to do this video because this song is featured um, with Trevor from Thousand Foot Crutch. And so I want to show you how I can put this video in front of other people's pages and other artists. So. You click here, choose targeting, and I'm going to click create new audience. And let's just say your fans are Eminem, uh, Taylor Swift, <laughs> Bruno Mars, and let's choose a rock band. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, how about um, uh, U2? Okay. 
I can decide what countries I want this ad to show up. Let's just do US because I'm going to be touring US. It's my biggest market. But you got to understand, you can promote your music anywhere. I could have it show up in Japan if I wanted to. Okay, I could have it show up in any country. I could do Germany. Okay, but I'm just going to keep it in US. And so if left blank, your ad will be delivered to Canada. So I don't want that. I want United States. United States. I can choose who I want to show this video to, okay? I can choose my age now. Well, I know most of my fans are between 15 and 24. So let's focus on that. To be honest, I know the majority of my crowd is men, is not women. So why try and chase everybody when I should chase the people I already know like my music, okay? So you really want to ask yourself, who is your target demographic? If you say everybody, are you trying to tell me 64 year olds listen to your music? Do they? Well, maybe if you listen to classical or they just happen to, but who's your real target demographic? You got to ask yourself, be really honest with yourself. I know the majority is really, it maxes out at around 34. You know, sure, there's other older people that listen to my music, but I know my majority of my listeners is in that age range. Okay. Well, now I want to click my interests. People that are interested in other bands like, oh, Eminem. Let's put m and in here. So that basically means I'm going to boost this post and it's going to show my lyric video to people who have liked m and Well, I also want Taylor Swift in there. So let's type Taylor Swift. Oh, there's Taylor Swift. And it's also giving me examples. Oh, well, maybe Lady Gaga, maybe Michael Jackson. But this is, a, again, guys, you got to put it in front of people that is similar to your music, right? Well, I've got Trevor from Thousand Foot Crutch in there. So I'm going to put his band in there. Thousand foot crutch. Okay. Oh, skillet. I know that they're a rock band. They'll, they'll like my stuff. Oh, switchfoot. That's that's a good idea. Oh, and shine down. Oh, okay. You know, it's like it's like Facebook knows and they're giving you suggestions. I'm gonna click save on this now. So that's who I want to show it in front of. And it created a new audience. I probably should have renamed the audience because I didn't actually choose those bands. But now I've got my audience targeted, and now I want to select my budget. Okay, well, I want to spend 20 bucks and it'll get in front of 2,000 to 5,200 people. That is incredible. That doesn't include all the people that are going to share it and the organic reach. I can decide when I want this ad to go. I can do it for seven days and I can see how it's going. And then I can just shut it down if I don't think it's performing as well. And then all I do is click boost. And now, guys, I have promoted my music for freaking so cheap. For 20 bucks, you can put five bucks in here. You don't even have to put 20. You can put five. You can just test things out, but then you can you can't you can only do one dollar per day max. So I'll have to change that to one day or only five days. But this is just a way to test your stuff out, to see if people are digging it, to see if people are connecting with it. And I really encourage you guys, you want to boost posts that work. Well, how do you know what posts work? Well, click on your insights button here. See this button here at the top? If you click on your insights button. And this will show you all your history. And if I click on this see all posts button right here, then I scroll down and then I click on reach here and this will sort it by reach and it will show me my most popular videos or posts that I've done. Well, this music video I uploaded, Edge of My Life, it got seen by 96,000 people and I didn't even boost it. If you see that dark orange, that means I boosted it. So the organic reach on this one was 53,000 and the paid reach was 26,000. So I can go in here and go, oh, well, this worked really well. I should boost that. Or this one worked really well. I should boost that. If I keep scrolling down, I can see what worked. But guys, I can also see what didn't work. What didn't work. And so I know not to do that. And this is the thing too. I repost things. If something works, then I'll repost it again. This one right here, this, this image, I'll show you guys lyric cards because lyric cards work so well on Facebook. People love sharing them. I repost this thing once a week and people don't go, oh, he, uh, he posted that again. Oh, I, I don't like that. No, I, po I posted it like every other week for so long. This was just posted March 5th. It was shared 485 times. Okay. Now you got to understand, I do have a very large audience. I have 163,000 Facebook likes, but guys, this is how you look at your data and you see what works. The definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. And so the reason I train on Facebook and the reason I train on YouTube is because Facebook is now paying us and YouTube has been paying us. And it's the multiplication factor with social media. 
I would encourage all artists to invest in Facebook or YouTube before you go investing in a publicist and hoping someone's just going to, you know, blow it up for you when you can really the whole goal here is to build a fan base, to get your music in front of new fans. And how do you do that? By boosting posts, targeting it to new people. Let's see if this YouTube thing is going to work here. That's a real bummer. Um, but by doing YouTube, Google ads, and getting your music videos in front of new people, because this is the thing, you know, your your span is limited. My span is limited. Sure, yeah, I've got, um, you know, 167,000, 168,000 likes on Facebook, but. I want to reach more people. I want to reach hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Well, this is the way to do it, to invest and learn and train in this. Okay. And so guys, I just want you to know, I just want to open it back up here and go back to the camera here and uh, turn off my screen or turn off the, the screen here. We're going to do a and a So if you guys want to get your questions ready here. I'm just going to have a take a sip of water, but let me just open up the live uh, chat here and just say, hey, are you guys, I hope you guys are, you're digging this, man. I hope you found value in this so far and I'm not done yet. I still want to keep going here, but I just want to make sure that you guys are, you're with me and you're digging this. Um, I love music. I love the ability to share it, to train it. Um, I didn't do this alone though. You know, I didn't do this by myself. You know, I didn't figure this out all, all by myself. I had coaches. I had people helping me. I had other artists helping me. I had people encouraging me. And that's why I've kind of mixed this training with motivation because I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys succeed and crush this and take this to the next level. And so I want to present an opportunity for you guys. And it's called Fan Base University. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's my monthly membership coaching program. We have dozens and dozens of artists in there. And what I'm basically doing is I'm investing in the next generation of artists, okay? Um, I'm kind of coaching you, taking you under my wing, and I'm opening up the, the doors to enroll in this monthly training program where you have access to me to ask any questions you want. Yes, I'm going to be asking questions and answering questions here in a minute. But every single month, um, I do a group coaching call with uh, my artists under Fanbase University when you become a member. And so we're doing our next group coaching call this Monday where we get on the phone every month, people set their goals and um, we ask about them and I encourage artists and I challenge them and they post their songs in there and I give them feedback and some guys are posting logos and different things. And um, I also do a membership uh, makeover every single month as part of this membership and so basically i take an artist and uh, they post a song inside the membership and i critique it i go through their website i go through the song and i give them honest feedback and everyone loves it because you know they even if it's not if they don't get chosen as an artist they learn so much by me critiquing and giving advice on the song to make it better and i give them advice on their social media and their website page and so that's part of fan base university and then every single month i interview an expert um, I interviewed last month Seth Mosley. He's a Grammy award-winning uh, songwriter, producer. Uh, he's produced a lot of my stuff. He's done a lot of huge hits. Um, I interview an expert every single month. I interviewed my booking agent uh, the month before that. And then this month, I'm interviewing a manager who has blown up some really big artists that have sold millions of records. And so basically, I've kind of created this membership thing to give you guys access to the professionals, to the people that I work with that I know that are even bigger than me. And so that you guys can win at this because you know what? We can't do this alone, guys. We need encouragement. I pay, you know, either a manager or I pay a coach to give me advice, to encourage me to say, Hey, what do I do next? Okay. I've gotten here. Now, what do I do next? And it's just so important to, uh, to get that help and to get that support. And so I want to show you one more thing inside of fan base university here. Um, what, what's also included here, let me just share my screen one more time here if I can figure out how to do that. I love technology because it's awesome. Start screen share. I just want to show you guys um, inside of Fanbase University here and just some of the other stuff that you guys get, which is freaking awesome. So I'm logged in here to Fanbase University. This is the forum. Okay. And so one of the other things I didn't tell you that I do is um, Backstage Pass, where every single month I do a training on showing you behind the scenes of my business. And so I showed everybody how to book shows last month. Um, I showed everybody Facebook best practices. I went way more detailed than what I showed you guys here. But plus, um, I showed you guys because I'm on a Facebook beta tester group because they're going to be paying us. And so I'm giving everybody the, the information. Uh, next month, I'm going to be doing something on merchandise and I just put a new backstage pass every single month. This is the general form 
where everybody asks questions. Um, we've already had like 83 plus posts in there and people um, asking questions about studio next week, subject about uh, people asking about booking shows. I posted my goals for 2016 and or for March 2016 and this is where I, you know, people are asking questions about beats and getting honest feedback and releasing new songs. It's just, it's so fun. But this is really where the meat of it is, guys, is the members training, okay? I've got all my courses up here. Some of you guys have seen my courses for sale. Well, if you're a member, you get all these courses for free and I add a new course every single month. There's over 10 hours of content in here. There's the songwriting, marketing, building a brand with your music. There's how I make over 4,000 a month selling music online, how to get a record deal course, um, YouTube marketing mastery. Okay, I show you how to do those Google AdWords. Um, don't need internet to do that because it's already connected. And so you just click on one of these, right? So let's just click on the YouTube marketing mastery. And so there's the pro tips. Why YouTube and the introduction to this course? Um, I show you how to optimize your videos, the title, the description, tagging, playlists. Oh my gosh, playlists is so important, guys. I'm creating really important thumbnails. A YouTube content strategy, guys. You have to have a YouTube content strategy. I'm always uploading new content, building up the subscribers so I can build up my income. I already showed you guys, it is very real that YouTube pays artists money okay it's really important that you guys build up your YouTube page um, what I've learned from visiting Google YouTube's headquarters of course I've gone to Google I've met with them really awesome people really believe in artists I teach you guys everything I know is basically what you get access to and then of course the musician makeovers and then that's the one I did with Cole DeRoos he's an awesome artist and then the band all above me and then uh, we have the master class Grammy Awards songwriter producer Seth Mosley and then a master class with Brandy Wallman a booking agent how you guys can get a booking agent man it's so important to, to get the help to understand what they're looking for okay so important so what I want to show you guys right now is uh, I've opened up membership below this. You can see where you can click on uh, join Fanbase University. It's only $29 a month. I could have charged a ton more for this, but it's only $29 a month, and you get access to this community of dozens of other artists that are going to encourage you, just like I'm encouraging you right now to keep going, to build that network, to do other shows with, um, find a producer, find a, someone else you want to collaborate with, and then, of course, you get access to me to ask any questions you guys want. You can ask any questions you want all the time. I'm about to answer questions in a second here, um, and I'll stay on as long as I need, but you can have this every single month and have that encouragement and have that support. So that's only $29 a month, okay? And I upload a new course every single month, or you can do the yearly membership, which is $2.99, and then you save $50, plus I'm gonna give you a free copy of my book, Fighter, Five Keys to Conquering Fear and Reaching Your Dreams. I promise you this will help you guys out so much to conquer that fear, to take action. It talks about all the open mics I used to go to, and struggling with radio and then we finally had a radio hit and how I blew up in Japan the whole story is in here you can do the yearly membership which I suggest is 299 bucks plus we jump on the phone me and you and I do a 30 minute coaching call we get to just jump start and I get on the phone with you I ask you a whole bunch of questions before I get you to send me songs all that stuff and then we jump on the phone and we just jump start your career and get you launched right into Fanbase University. So you got two options there. It's either the $29.99 a month or the $2.99 per year. Plus you get the free book, plus you get the whole year paid for and a coaching call with me. So super stoked. What I want to do now is jump into the questions here and see what we got going while I take a sip of water. If you got a question below, post it in the forum here. I'm, I'm looking in the in the the thing here and I want to answer your questions uh, Joshua was asking Chris did you shop for labels at first no I didn't and this is the thing I really encourage you guys stay independent as long as you can I have gone independent now myself and the reason is is because there's all these income streams okay i've only got to share two of them i got to share youtube obviously itunes sales you saw in there and you got to see facebook is going to start paying you there is so many more income streams guys there's sound exchange there's tv and film so many so many income streams that the labels will not tell you about and they just take all the money and then they give you your 20% or your 23% or whatever it is after they subtracted all the expenses and spent all this money and all this stuff. And they don't even give you proper reporting. Okay. And I just want you to know inside of 
a record label clause, there's stuff in there that says you can't even audit them until a certain time period. Like you only have a certain amount of time to audit them. Why would a label put that in a contract if they're not doing shady stuff? The course inside of Fanbase University, how to get a record deal, goes through every single point of a record contract so you know not to get screwed and don't make the $50,000 plus mistake I made. I'll give you an example right now. There's a song on this album, okay? I own the rights to this worldwide except America, okay? Um, but the label owns the rights to America. And so when you – when a uh, a TV film wants to use a song in here, they pay a master use license and they also pay uh, a publishing license, okay? And so the, the bid was $20,000. Well, because the label owns rights to this still, the master in the US, they immediately get half of that $20,000, just like that. And so you gotta really understand when you go with the label, they really have control. And this is the thing, you gotta understand that they're not just gonna get you a booking agent. They're not just gonna throw you on tour and make social media happen for you. No, you guys gotta do this yourself. You gotta build this all up yourself. And I encourage you to build it up as much as you can so that you can negotiate. When I signed with the label, I had no negotiating power. So honestly, I signed a really bad deal. Thank God I signed a licensing deal so that I got my records back. I get this sucker back next year. Um, I've already got this record back. Um, I've already got, I got this record back because it's independent, but you know, eventually I get my music back. And that's the difference between signing a licensing deal and signing a full deal. Some of these artists out there will never get their music back. And so they'll just get a tiny little royalty when you can get 100%. But that's why you get a manager. That's why you get a booking agent. You play shows and you can market yourself and, and, and build it up, okay? Um, so don't shop for a label. How to get a booking agent. How do you get a booking agent? Joshua, um, well, first, I forget who it was earlier who was in here, but you need to have a website, okay? You need to book your own shows first. You need to have a great live show. And I just want to say that, like, I'm teaching you guys all this stuff, but the foundation is your songs. It's having great songs, guys, because if you have great songs, then you build on top of that. But if, if you don't have good songs, you have no foundation. You have no foundation. So I always say invest in great songs, invest in a good performance, in, in a good show, and people will come to you. The labels will come to you. The managers will come to you. I called this fan base university for a reason because if you have a fan base guys that like that's what it's all built on it's the fans that listen to the music it's the fans that buy the music that buy the t-shirts that 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 do the business so if you build a fan base well then everything else comes to you you know what I'm saying I hope that makes sense and so I encourage you guys man if you haven't signed up yet sign up so I can help you build a fan base because then you'll have the booking agents calling. You'll have the managers calling inside that membership. Um, the, the interview with um, my, my booking agent, Brandy, she tells you everything that a, that a booking agent is looking for and, and how to get one. Um, Melinda's asking, how do I find these other uh, streams of income for artists are? Um, well, Obviously, I share them all in that course, how I make over 4,000 a month selling music online. But obviously, you need to be having your artists selling through a proper distribution channel like TuneCore or CD Baby. That's a good place to start. So you're on iTunes, you're on Spotify, but then you sign up for the publishing so that you are monetizing those videos on YouTube. So basically what happens is when you monetize your videos through someone like TuneCore or CD Baby, they send out all these little robots basically and put claims on those songs. So for instance, if you guys were to try and upload a funny video of you singing Michael Jackson with the, the, the song on there and you upload that to YouTube, you will immediately get a claim from whoever, whoever owns that music. Well, that's that's what TuneCore or CD Baby will do for you if you um, monetize your videos that way. So that's a really important income stream. Sound exchange is really important. One of the biggest income streams I tell all artists is touring, playing shows. If you're going to spend your money anywhere besides social media that I'm teaching you, the next best thing to spend your money is getting on tours, is touring. And of course, I'm encouraging you to invest in your education. Um, I've only got so much time to share on, on here, but um, investing in learning, reading, getting contacts, relationships are so important, guys. Relationships are so important. Um, some other questions here. Uh, Johnny say, my first release is on Monday, 930 song dedicated to the PGI House Masters. So as I cannot use their IP in my marketing, including song titles, scrimmage hashtags, anything 
Is that a real thing? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, when it comes to copyright and using anything from somebody else, you got to be really weary of it, especially samples and whatnot. Normally, people don't come after you until you've actually started to make money, but you really want to be aware that you, you know, using certain people's brand, you can get really kicked off of um, YouTube or blacklisted or whatnot. Because I'm noticing you're using the PGA thing. I think you're talking about that golf stuff or whatnot. But um, it's really important to be careful because I know a guy that got kicked off for using Burberry or is using some fashion thing. And some people are very careful of their brand and their and their logo and their identity and stuff like that. And you can't just use that on certain stuff. That's why you'll see on a lot of TVs, um, if someone's got a certain logo, like a Nike logo, they'll tape it or they'll tell you to wear something with no logo on it. So you want to be very careful with that. If you're an independent artist, how do you book yourself a show? Very good question, John. Um, I teach that, of course, in Fanbase University. I give you my templates on how to email um, bars, clubs, churches, colleges. I show you the exact email you need to send out to people, and that's what you do. You basically look up contacts, and you send out emails. When I quit my job, guys, because I was making uh, $70,000 a year at my IT job. I quit my job thinking I was going to be this rock star because I was signed, but I didn't become a rock star. Uh, in two or three months, I was $30,000 in debt, okay? And um, I had to figure out how to make money. And the best way to make money was touring, was playing shows. And so I'd email places and say, hey, I'm in your area. And I had to play for free at first, but then I started to charge. Started at 150, then 300, then 500, then 1,000, then two, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you got to start off here. And then you you build it up, you know, and you build up a fan base. And then people will call you and you crush that show. You'll get You'll get booked again. You'll get booked again. I got time for some more questions here. Um, so let me take another sip of water. But I just want to encourage you guys, man. Um, I'm just stoked to be here. I believe in you guys. I love all their artists. I love all these questions. This is really awesome. I'm going to stay on here for like another five more minutes, and then I've got to get going because i got to jump on a flight and get going. Um, John's saying i got two shows in Ohio this summer. So to make sure there's no other questions that I'm missing out here. You guys can ask me anything. Honestly, you can't embarrass me. You can't, um, you know, bum me out or anything like that. I'm here to help you. That's why I did this for free and just want to see in there. Um, thanks, no samples, but I think the masters will come after me. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure, John. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, hey, we're going to close this thing down. Oh, one more question. Why is it important to have a solid fan base before going on the road? Well, here, here it is, Belinda. There's two ways to build a fan base with touring. You can slug it out by just playing shows and marketing them yourself, doing Facebook ads, doing boost posts. Because remember, you can boost a post not only to the country, I could have selected a city in there. I could have selected a city to like the um, wherever I'm playing. So if you have a show coming up in uh, Ohio, uh, John, you can do a maybe do a video of you performing and then boost that post to all the people in that whatever city in Ohio that you're playing. Okay, so that you can make sure that there's people there. If not, you know, the other way to build by touring is to buying onto a tour. What I talk about in my book, Fighter, is how I bought onto tours. I talk about it in Fanbase University is how I bought onto tours. And that launched my career, guys. I just want to share this with you. And this is, you know, really kind of personal stuff, but it's important that you guys know. I bought onto a tour. Let's just say I paid $300 to get onto that tour per show. $300 per show. I've paid more, I've paid less. Okay, let's just say $300 per show got in front of this artist fan base, okay, got promoted because I'm associated with them. And then I built the relationship with the band. And then the band really liked me. I was starting to have some success on my own. So they asked me to come out again. But this time they didn't ask me to pay. They paid me. So buying onto a tour is one of the best investments you can do. Um, that's why I, I'll still buy onto another tour. If it's a big enough artist, you better believe I'll buy onto a tour. I'm putting my music in front of thousands of fans and I'm get a chance to sell merchandise at the shows. So that's really important. Um, the best type of merchandise to sell, Melinda, obviously CDs are, are good. Having a sick shirt, like really cool shirt, logo design that's like really meaningful, really connects. You can't just be whatever random shirt. Like it's got to be good because if you're playing in clubs, you're playing in bars, you got people gonna want to buy that than buy your beer okay and uh, i just want to say for you guys too like i didn't start always out here super successful like this i'll never forget being in clubs and bars and playing shows and trying to get people to buy merchandise 
I, I needed to put gas in my tank. I walked up to people with my CD and asked them if they'd buy it. And sometimes people would buy it. And other times I got the look of death, like, why are you bothering me? And it was one of the most conquering fear things I had to do. But I wanted this, guys. I wanted this. I wanted this career so bad that I was willing to do whatever it took. And it was embarrassing to walk up to someone and ask them to buy my CD. But you know what? I sold some. And I was willing to do what other people weren't willing to do. And so I'm going to ask you guys again, are you willing to invest in your career? Are you willing to slug this out? Because it's not going to happen overnight. And that's, again, why I've got Fanbase University open for you guys, because I want to help you, because I know it's not easy. But you know what? I was the worst rapper and singer out of all my friends, but I didn't quit. And I just kept on persevering. So I want to encourage you guys. It does get discouraging out there. It does get lonely, but keep going. I'm going to answer one more question, and then I'm going to get out of here. And I look forward to seeing you guys in Fanbase University and helping you out more. I have zero fans, but I got to release this golf album on Monday. What's the best way to get YouTube social buzz and earning fans? Well, dude, make a cool video. Either you spend it on a dope lyric video. I did a selfie video one time of me riding a bike or on skateboard or whatnot. Just be creative. It's not about your resources and having some huge budget. It's about your resourcefulness. It's about just being creative and creating something dope and fun and putting it out there, you know, and just like marketing that on YouTube. Like I said, doing the YouTube ads doing the Facebook ads, but it's over a period of time. It's not going to happen overnight. It's by punching that thing and punching that thing and punching that thing. Not just when you release an album, okay? One of the courses I'm going to be uploading uh, next month for the fan base members is called my uh, album launch blueprint. And I show you how to launch an album because you just want, if you're just launching the album, your work is just started. You know, your work has just started and um, you got to just keep going from there, man. You just got to keep hitting it. And this is the thing. This is the last thing I'm sharing. Last piece of information. I know you feel like you're posting a lot and you're marketing a lot, but you know what? You're going to get tired of your marketing message more than other people are. Okay. You're going to get tired of promoting the same songs. Like this album came out last October. I'm going to keep promoting this. I'm going to keep promoting another song, another song, find a different angle, share a story, wear your heart on your sleeve, guys. Don't just always show the, the glorious moments or whatever. Show the process. Show the pain. Talk about the story. Let people into your world because people are real and they want a real connection. I hope you guys feel the real connection with me. You know, I'm just in my hotel room here. I slept here last night, you know, but I wanted to do this webinar because I want to show that I'm a real guy just doing stuff. You're a real person. Show that with people. Don't show the, yo, I'm a rock star, whatever. No, show the real person. Why? Well, Click on that link below, fanbaseuniversity.com. Look forward to seeing you guys in there, and we will do another one of these really soon. Cheers. Feel free to share this link as well. I'll leave this replay up for a little while so you can come back and watch it.